Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, Stormies? It is like nine something in the morning. I have blackout curtains, so that's why it's a little dark in here. Um, this video that I'm about to record, I don't know when I'm going to post this video, but it will be posted. Um, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys about, you know, some things that, you know, update on my life and how I've been feeling and stuff like that or whatever. I know a lot of you guys seen the video of me, my, the video of that I might have been evicted or whatever. And I'm pretty sure if you watch the video, then you know why. Um... So basically, like, just like a little feedback off of that. Um, before we even get into the video, um, I had to get surgery in the inside of my nose. That's why I have this tape on my nose. Um, I had to get surgery on the inside of my nose. Um, I will talk more about that surgery and what happened. Um, probably, like, in another video or whatever, but, um, I don't know, I just think I went through a lot, like, um, I got another eviction letter, because the last eviction letter that I got, um, the people the lawyer and people that I was working with. And as you guys can see, I came on here as me, as myself. That's the cat. Yeah, that's the cat, as you can see. I came on here as myself. My hair is messed up. Or whatever. I got my hair out. Y'all know me. Y'all know I'm going to be myself to the fullest. Like, I'm going to always be me 100%. Or whatever. I'm not trying to be nobody else. But, um, I, the lawyer or whoever that I have or whatever, they were trying to do, like, this one-shot deal thing or whatever. I don't know what happened with that. She was supposed to be doing that. Um, the one-shot deal was pending for, like, so, 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 so long. She had it pending for, like, so long. Well, the one-shot deal was pending for so long. I don't know what happened. All I know now is that, um, I just got another eviction letter or whatever, and I have to be out in a couple of days, and now, um, she's trying to do another one-shot deal, or whatever, I don't know what happened to the, 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 the first one she did when I, when I got, when I, with, when I got the first letter of this situation, or whatever, I don't know what happened, or whatever, but she's supposedly trying to do it again, but I'm actually, I really don't want to even actually go through all of this actually again so i think i'm just gonna like you know like take my stuff put it in storage and you know pack my things and just like and just go or whatever because another thing is this apartment um i paid 21 i paid 21.40 a month well i don't pay 21.40 a month anymore because i you know got on i was went through my episodes and stopped paying and stuff like that. But when I first moved here, I was paying twenty one forty a month. Or whatever. This is a... Two, uh, it's supposed to be a two-bedroom. This is really a one-bedroom in a corner of another bedroom. But they made it, you know, to make it seem like it's a two-bedroom or whatever. Um, what else I wanted to say? Um... Yeah, it's a, it's a one bedroom with a, like a little piece of corner. It's twenty one forty a month. Um, I'm in the hood. Um, it's like after you stay here for a while, and I'm not saying this because of my situation and what I'm going through and what's going on, or whatever the case may be. But it's like it's so many, it's so many different problems that come with this um, apartment anyway. You know, for the simple fact that there's no elevator in this building. And I know somebody probably going to say, so why did you move there? It was no elevator. At the time, I had just moved out of my townhouse in Jersey or whatever. 
and I moved back to New York or whatever because my family wanted me to be closer. So I moved back to New York and I was rushing to get into to, to find a place or whatever because I was staying with, with my friend at the time and I was rushing to find a place and this was like one of the first places that my when I um the relative that I had found this was like one of the first place, places that she had showed me and she had found and I was like so rushing to like move into something or whatever I took this place or whatever don't get me wrong the place the inside of the apartment is really 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 nice like you know they have the way it's decorated is really nice you know the brick wall the island and stuff like that is really 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 nice now everything else in the apartment horrible um when I say horrible when I first moved here like the mice and stuff was it was just too much I had to get a cat you know, those of you, you know, y'all y'all know that's why I have my baby Lynx, my cat, or whatever. Um, I had to get him because of the mice when I first moved here. Um they have like a, a, a fly problem in the hallway. Like the hallway's horrible. Like it's so much flies and stuff. So much flies and stuff in the hallway, like as soon as you open the door, the flies are coming in your house. They're hitting you in the face. It's just like, it's really, 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 really. Then there's so many rats over here. Like, as soon as you step outside, as soon as you go outside, the garbage is, like, right next to the building. They have, like, these big, big rocks. There are rats everywhere. Even though they have, like, the rat poison stuff down, it's rats everywhere. When I say everywhere, rats is everywhere. You got dead rats inside the grass and everything. It's crazy. Like, it's really, 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 really crazy. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So, I feel, you know, and then another thing is being that I went through what I went through living in this apartment with my ex um, lover, you know, with the, um, the drug thing or whatever. And everything that went on, you know, with me and my, my best friend and, you know, what he went through and so much, there's like so much, so much negative and so much evil, evilness and so much bad energy was in this apartment or whatever. I don't know if it's a sign or if it's like God wants me to go or whatever the case may be, or if it's. It's just a, a good thing for me to start over because of all the things that did happen into this in this apartment and all the energies that are in this apartment. You know, it might be a good thing that it's meant for me to start over, if you get what I'm saying. Or whatever. So that's a you know, that's that that's like another thing. Like it might be meant for me to start over. And I don't have a job or whatever. Like, I've been looking for a job. I went to go, you know, look for, like, this security place that, you know, somebody gave me. You know, one of my, my friends on Facebook, they gave me this information for, like, security. Um, you know, I went to the place. They gave me the application to fill out. Then they tell you they'll call you back in, like, a month or whatever to come to do the security classes. And blah, blah, blah. it's been two months. I called them the other day. They're telling me... Um, they're still waiting to get funded so they can call people for them to come in to do the classes or whatever. So, oh. so that basically didn't really work out or whatever. Still not that or whatever. Um, I was trying to do the home health aid thing or whatever that's like that became like a whole big old thing because of a lot of with my past I have to clear a lot of things on my record from my past if you know you know um what else um yeah so being that I don't have no job I'm not able to pay no twenty one forty a month and I live here alone. I don't have a roommate or anything. It's just me by myself. So what I think I'm going to do, the best thing for me to do, is for me to go through the shelter. 
Like, listen, ain't no shame in my game. Like, baby, I don't mind. And I feel like if I do go through the shelter, it'll be easier for me to get a low-income apartment that way or for me to, you know, move into housing or whatever. Like, I don't mind living in the projects. And baby, what? If the rent gonna be 400 a month, I don't mind. And you don't gotta pay light and, um, play, um, car medicine and stuff. I don't mind. Like, I think it'll be, I think that way will be much easier or whatever, and I will have more help that way. So I think that might be the best choice for me to do for myself. You get what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Even though, you know, I notice like people that do live in like NYCHA or Section 8 or whatever housing or whatever the case may be, and they do YouTube, once you're YouTube, once you start making good money on YouTube, your rent starts to go up. Because I've seen a video of this boy that I do, I'm subscribed to on YouTube and he was living in Section 8. And they found out, you know, and then, you know, he was on YouTube and, you know, YouTube is like an income and, you know, you, you know, taxes and all that and whatever, 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 whatever. So they seen, they found, they seen, you know, that he was making a cute amount of money on um, YouTube. I think he, yeah, from, he was making somewhere from like five to seven thousand or whatever on youtube of uh, well supposedly that's what he said i'm i'm not him i don't know but he said his rent went up like his rent went up or whatever so i know you know once i start doing what i do with youtube i know the rent will go up and stuff like that or whatever but i think that's my that might be the best choice for me to do is to go into a shelter take my stuff put it in storage um, go into a shelter. Once I'm in the shelter, whatever little knickknacks or whatever, whatever that I need, you know, you know, pick it up, take it to the shelter, you know, depending on what kind of shelter. Um, I've been hearing a lot of shelters been like the new, new, um, they've been like the new buildings. Like a lot of the shelters now have been like the new buildings and it's like, you had like a, a whole your own like it's like a whole apartment like a whole regular apartment or whatever so you know i think i would do that until you know um you know i get accepted for whatever i get a you know get a, a voucher or whatever whatever them things is that people get or whatever and then move into my apartment and then i go from there i think that's what it is i think i need a fresh start I need a, I need everything fresh. I think that that's maybe what it is. I need a fresh start. You get what I'm saying? I need a fresh start where I don't have so much on my mind or where I'm like driving myself crazy because I'm backed up in rent because of certain mistakes that I made or whatever. And I'm thinking about this and this is on my mind. So now I'm stressed out and I'm depressed and it's so much going on and I don't know what to do. I just need a fresh start. A fresh start, a new apartment, fresh apartment, new everything. That might be the best thing for me. And I think that's what I'm going to go for. Like, I really, really, really think that's what I'm going to go for or whatever. Like, a lot of people don't know what I go through. Like, it's sometimes I can't even sleep at night because I have so much on my mind. Or I'm, I, I, I overthink sometimes. Like, I think so much to where I can't sleep. Like, it's to the point where, like, I I just think, 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 think. And I'm just, like, overthinking, like, everything. And I can't sleep at night. Or I'll sleep for, like, an hour or two and then wake right back up. Or I'll, um, like, have, like, these bad dreams and just, like, wake up out of nowhere. And it's, like, it's. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And I say this to say, like, you know, sometimes I always ask myself, like, because, you know, a lot of people have it easier than than some people. And sometimes I used to, I'm not going to say sometimes, like, now, sometimes I, I ask myself sometimes, like, why her and why not me? But I remember I was always taught, taught, I was always taught 
never ask why this person and why not you. When your time, when it's your time, your time will come. What's for you is for you. What's for that person is for that person. And right now, it's not your time. So you have to wait or you have to work harder. And that's why sometimes I, I, I kind of sit and I think and get a little depressed because it's like, sometimes I feel like if, my, if I had my parents, like, if I had my parents, like, growing up or whatever, I feel like my life would be so different. Like, I think my life would be different. I think my life would be better. Like, if I had my parents, you know, because I lost my mom. I, I lost my mom at five. Then my dad was in jail for basically my whole teenage life or whatever. I didn't start building a relationship with him until like the end of my 20s. Going into my 30s, you know, going into the, my 30s or whatever. We just had just started getting close. So I didn't have my parents like growing up. So I didn't have that. Oh, you know, if something's wrong or you're going through something, you can run to mommy or you can run to daddy or you can run to mommy house or you can run to daddy house. You know, if you're going through something or, you know, if things are not okay or if you need help with something, like, I didn't have that and I, I don't have that. Well, I do have that because I have my uh, mom. I have my other mom, Alexis. But the thing is, like, she's so giving and... She has such a beautiful heart. There's times that I don't want to ask her for nothing. Like, I don't want to ask her because I know how much of a good person she is and she's going to do it. So it's like sometimes I don't like to ask her for help because she's been helping me since I was 16 years old. And I'm getting a little emotional right now. But she's been helping me since I was 16. Since I was 16 years old, she's been helping me because I didn't have no mom. Because I lost my mom and I was in a group home and I didn't have my... And I didn't have my dad. I just wish that I did have my parents growing up because I think things would have been a little, little different for me. But, oh my God. Yeah, I feel if I did have my parents, things would have been a little, little different for me. And sometimes I really wish and I really, really, really prayed and I had my parents growing up because things would have been different. I wouldn't have been in a lot of predicaments that I was in or that I fell in. I wouldn't be going through a lot of the things that I went through or are still going through right now. Things just would have been a lot, 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 lot different or whatever. But I'm not going to keep you guys. I'm about to get up and wash my face and stuff or whatever. Um, I'm going to see you guys. I love y'all. Y'all stay strong. Um, yeah. I'm going to see y'all stormies. <laughs>